right. Hello everybody out there. How you doing today? Uh, today we want to share the video with our solar panels. We've completed them. We put them up. So what we're going to do is walk through um, some of the steps, some of the things we ran across. And one thing I want to iterate when I start off the video again is we were novices. We were very naive of understanding building anything. So for anybody out there who's already knowledgeable, some of this stuff might be redundant information for you. But for the cat that's out there that just really don't know nothing, <laughs> like really don't know nothing, <laughs> I'm going to try to be as precise in things that in videos we've watched and we ran across nobody spoke to. Okay, so come on. So these are the solar panels for what, dear? For the water park. Okay. I was going to get to that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so each one of these solar panels are roughly 300 watts. There's 3,600 watts here. We got 12 solar panels. Okay, so 3,600 watts is what's running our our well pump. The well pump is a three-phase, three-horsepower motor that's 900 feet in the ground and it's pushing water up vertically at eight pounds a gallon. So it has to be pretty powerful. The good thing about this system is. It converts the DC power from the sun directly to AC power. So what that means is I didn't have to have a battery bank. So what that means is I don't have to ever worry about buying batteries five, ten years from now and the battery's going bad. Also, the motor on the pump is a brushless motor. So because it's a brushless motor, there's no parts to wear out. So, conceptually speaking, this thing should pretty much last quite a long time without any hiccups. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So, what they are is they're hooked up in series. What series means is that the positives and negatives are all connected to each other. So from one positive goes to the next one negative. From that one negative goes to the next one positive. So I spoke to this a little bit in the very beginning solar panel system when we did the house. Go back, refer to that, educate yourself on, so, on series and parallel. I'm not going to get too deep into it. I'm just explaining that this system is based on series. Okay, so what we have here are... 8 inch round post. These round posts are basically about 3 feet deep cemented in the ground. They were 8 feet uh, in total uh, height. So they're about 3 feet down. Completely cemented in. And then we have this uh, 5 inch brace going across. Now one of the big things that was a real big deal is um, the bolting system. But, you know, I'll come back to that. So what I did is I notched these wood posts at, I tried to get about a 35, 40 degree angle. I ended up with about a 43, 44 degree angle. So I'm satisfied with it. So what I did is I just took the chainsaw and I cut into it so that I can go through this way and come down this way. So I can secure it both ways. All right. So after I did that, we put, these are 4 by 4s these 4 by 4s I cut the knot so the 4 by 4 fit in there at that angle. This is a big deal for me when I looked at a lot of the other bracing systems that people were doing <clears throat> without spending a lot of money on a racking system. The weight of all of this is sitting on top of this. See, if you put the wood on the side and put the bolt through it, all your weight is on that bolt. And in my opinion, that's not real smart. So from my educating myself and watching videos and reading, I decided I wanted all my weight to be directly on top of the wood. And if you ever look at a, um, a way a deck is built, that's exactly the way they do deck builds. They put the weight on top of the wood. They don't, they don't use the bolting system to carry the weight. Okay. So then from there, I just used another bracking system here to make sure that this can't, if the wind blows, that this can't go backwards like this. I'm not worried about it going this way because if you look at my center of gravity point, the weight that can push up here is very minimal proportionally to the weight down here. So I'm not worried about the wind catching this and blowing it this way. Okay? Plus, it won't be able to because it's bolted. So. This is a bracking system to make sure it can't push back this way. So that's what this is for. Okay. So after I did that, I put all three of them in. We then put uh, a bracing here of, of steel, whatever this is called. <laughs> that's how 
metal, I know. <laughs> Some but type of steel wire. Yeah, right. There you go, steel wire. <laughs> so what it does is it just controls the weight so they're weighted against each other. So if something happens with one, gets loose or something, I still got another one. And that way there's, they're completely weighted all the way across. Not directly, but they're still weighted all the way through. Um, all of this comes together to our RSP pump here which RSP is who we bought our pump from. RPS. RPS, sorry. Um, no, we're not getting paid by them. We're not getting any plug from them. But I do want to say I do like their product so far. It was very simple. It was very easy uh, in comparison to some of the other stuff I ran across. Um, I paid 12000 in total for the solar panels and the pump. Um, and for the guy to drop it in because the wire alone was about three grand. So all together to get the water out the well cost 12 grand. So this system was about six, which included the panels, which when I started looking at the pumps, you know, some of the top name brand companies, they wanted six grand just for the pump. You know what I'm saying? So I paid six grand for this, the pump and this. Then I paid another six for the guy to put it in the well. But that included three grand for the wire. So to get all of this for the six instead of just the pump, I thought was a no-brainer. Not to mention it's exactly the same as far as three phase, three horsepower. All the um, specs related to the pump are synonymous. So I went with this system. So if anybody out there is looking up RPS, um, so far I give it a thumbs up. It has a direct generator plug that if I don't get sun for some reason, I can hook up a generator and I can use the generator to plug it. It converts the power straight uh, from the sun straight to AC current, so I don't have to worry about that. What I am gonna do that I haven't done yet is I'm gonna build a boxing system over this because I just don't want it exposed to the wind, the sun, the dust. Um, even though I ain't gonna get much sun, but the dust and wind blows a lot out here. I don't want it to get inside the components or inside the box. So that is coming. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about the racking system. What I used is, this is called Super Strut. So it comes in 10 foot pieces. They're about uh, $22 a piece. And I put four pieces on each one so that we could just drill uh, self-tapping screws right into the back edge panel. What I'm going to do in addition is I'm going to put a, a, a 3 eighths bolt, two of them on each one just to get an additional support to make sure it can't go anywhere. Um, but the one thing that I came across that I wanted to speak to, so let me get to that. Come around here, honey. These kind of boats here are called carriage boats. These are the kind of boats you want to use in connecting the, the strut. super strut to the wood. Because what they do is they just leave barely a little hump because you're not going to get it completely flush because you need something on the top. Now, until I figured this out, <laughs> this is what my ass was doing. I was using this kind of bolt here. And what that did is it caused me to have to cut a notch out in the panel so that bolt could fit there so this panel could fit flush. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> so, for anybody who might use the super strut, use the carriage bolt with the round head um, so that you can get as flush as you can you don't have to mess with your panels and cut them I cut my finger cutting the little notches my poor wife cut a little you cut my finger off almost I had to cut her finger off almost <laughs> my poor wife had a little cut I had to cook dinner for her that night <laughs> so anyway that was the most biggest thing about this racking system is figuring out that bolt and not having to do that. Um, and here I got 12 inch bolts that go from here and here. Here I got 12 inch bolts that come from here down to about here. These go all the way through. Um, all in all, this baby's pretty solid. It ain't going nowhere. You know, we get some high winds out here. So I wanted to make sure whatever I did was going to be able to withstand at least a good 150 mile an hour. I don't know if it will withstand 200, but I think it'll be pretty okay at about 150. So now we got to go redo this all over again for the solar system for the house. Yep. Okay. So I hope this video really helps you uh, or helps someone out there 
who's trying to do a racking system because a lot of the racking systems I found on YouTube weren't real explanatory. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them up there, uh, at the video and I'll definitely answer them or my wife will definitely answer them. Until next time, be free. Be free.